Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm with MLC CAD Systems. I'm going to be covering some of the highlights from SOLIDWORKS Model Based Definition 2019 and some of the What's New Material and Enhancements. Now I'm going to be focusing on the three main enhancements with MBD and that is additional security settings for 3D PDFs, sheet metal support, and then the ability to copy and import different DIM expert schemes. So if I jump into my software, what you see on the screen is model based definition in the publish to 3D PDF property manager. This is where a lot of the security is going to be added when you are generating your 3D PDF through model based definition. If I expand my accuracy slider, there is now an option to show only graphical data as opposed to BREP data. Now I can add additional security settings to my published 3D PDF. I can choose to disable printing the 3D PDF, disable editing, or disable copying items. I can even go so far as to add a password to guarantee that if this PDF were to be forwarded to someone I don't know, that person can't open it without my password. Now to take a look at what the final result would look like, when I double click on my PDF, notice how I'm immediately prompted to enter my password. I cannot open it without that. And I'm going to click OK. Once my PDF does open, I'm going to have all my functionality that I'm used to having. I can still pan, zoom, and rotate. And I can even double check some of my permission details to verify that I cannot print or copy anything or edit anything inside of this PDF. So the extra security settings inside of the published to 3D PDF is a great way to protect your intellectual property and make sure that you're only sending information that you want to send and maybe not a little too much information. After having taken a look at the security settings, the second item I'm going to look for is the sheet metal support for model based definition. Now I have a sheet metal part open on my screen. If I flatten this, this is where I can start adding a lot of my manufacturing information for this particular sheet metal part. Now if I want to add bend notes, I can simply right click on my flat pattern folder in my design tree and say insert bend notes. Once I click on this, SOLIDWORKS is going to go through and create all of my bend notes. It's going to create my bounding box as well. All this information is going to be color coded and all of my radius, my degrees, my direction of bends are going to be included directly in my 3D model in my flat pattern. Now if I do have a complicated part, this can get kind of convoluted. It can become very cluttered. Well SOLIDWORKS MBD does support bend tables for our sheet metal parts. Again, I can simply insert a bend table into my flat pattern and we'll see that a tag has now been assigned to each bend line in my flat pattern and I get a nice table of the direction, the angle, and the inner radius required to make this part. And of course once I'm completed I can go into my 3D views tab and capture this in a 3D view so MBD can then use it as part of the exportation. SOLIDWORKS is going to automatically pull in the configuration for the flat pattern as well as the annotation view for that flat pattern. And we now have our 3D view that I can go back to at any time documenting all of my PMI information for sheet metal directly in my 3D model. So the third main enhancement that I'm going to talk about regarding model-based definition in 2019 is the ability to copy and import different DIM expert schemes. Now notice on my screen these are actually grayed out. Now there's a couple ways that we can make use of this existing data and copy it to other configurations or other parts. I'm going to talk about configurations first. Now if I go into my configuration manager, I do have several configurations in this specific part. So I'm going to activate one of them. Now, configurations one and two do not have DIM expert schemes already applied to them. Once this has been activated, I can then click on my copy scheme button, which is now active. This is going to allow me to change my scheme name. I can add a description or a comment. And what I can do is choose my source configuration. Now, once I have this filled out the way I want it to be, I can click OK and any similar data will have all of my DIM expert schemes brought in and 
all of my 3D views. So that's the first way that we can really import and copy dimension schemes through different configurations. The next item that I'm going to take a look at is if I have to insert a part into a different part, I can still copy over the dim expert schemes. Simply click on my part, I'm going to choose my turret axle. Notice as I scroll down under my copy, I can choose to include my dim expert scheme. So as I click to place this, we're going to see all of my dim expert criteria is going to be pulled over into this new part and then we can start editing as we see fit. So another great and simple way to make use of that data and copy those dimension schemes. The final way that we can import schemes is if I have a specific part that doesn't have any dim expert schemes in it and I want to make use of the dim expert from a different part that I know I've already created. So again, I want to make sure that I choose my configuration that does not have an existing dim expert scheme. And in my MBD tab, I can now choose to import a scheme. This allows me to browse where I need to be on my system to choose the file that has the dim expert scheme that I want. Again, make sure you choose the proper configuration and I'm going to click open. And SolidWorks, after a couple of moments, will automatically bring in any of the relevant DIM expert schemes. From here, I can go ahead and make any minor edits that I need to the part. So some great ways that we are able to really duplicate this type of information. Again, I talked about the security settings for 3D PDFs, sheet metal support, and copying and importing DIM expert schemes. So some great enhancements to look out for in model-based definition in 2019. Um, if you do have any questions about this material that you're seeing, please feel free to contact us at mlc-cad.com. You can also send us an email at solidworkssupport at mlc-cad.com or you can call us on our 800 number. So thank you for your time and have a great day.